All right, guys, as you can see, my wife is over here. What do I got? I got Peter here. So he's about to tell you guys what he did to fix the issue. So here's Peter. Hey, guys. Uh, so Mr. Carl went for a with a Ryan man the other day. <laughs> And uh, most of the time, it's a Toyota thing. Toyotas have uh, what we call a yawn sensor. Yawn, Y-A-W, it's a sensor. So whenever you have the car jacked up on the air, that sensor is always uh, interrupted. So every time you, uh, you do that, you have to recalibrate the sensor. It's very easy. There's a guy on YouTube who has done it. But uh, since we have a scanner, we take advantage of that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so here's the keys. I'm going to jump in on that side. Yeah, OK. Because you can't do this without that special type of tool, correct? Right. Okay. So so the light is off, guys. It's finally off. Right. Okay. Yes. So what happens is... Uh, Sorry, guys. You know it connects to the Bluetooth whenever I... Yeah. So you automatically ID the vehicle. Okay. Uh, give it a minute. So you're connected to the car? Yes. So okay. on the... Uh, DLC, it's connecting those DLC okay. down here. So it automatically ID the vehicle as a 2016 Toyota Corolla. Okay. okay. We'll proceed to go. You can uh, scan the whole vehicle mm -hmm. for all modules, even uh, including the radio, everything, right? Okay. But for us, we are so specific on what we need. Okay. We need the anti lock brake system. That's what monitors all those sensors, okay. including ABS uh, and all that. Okay. You go into that, uh, on that, on the ABS, it has a stability control system. Mm -hmm. The issue we are having, it has a yawn sensor, okay. the one that uh, we had to reset, okay? So on the ABS, so we're going to go on the ABS system only. Of course, if you try to display the codes, they, there won't be any codes displayed. Because, of course, we don't have an issue with the, uh, with the system anymore. Okay. Okay? So we'll back out of that. We'll go to, no, same. We're still on the uh, anti lock brake system. Okay. We'll go on the actuator test. Mm. Okay. On that test, it's going to show you all the solenoids, you know, everything, the sensors, you know, that Toyota has, of okay. course, right? So you just look through and uh, pick up whichever sensor that you want to look into, right? So the issue we had was a yawn sensor. Of course, since we already have already fixed the system, it won't show anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, it won't show anything. Okay, let's, let's back out on that. Let's go to, uh, hold on. Is it the body control module? We go to actuator test. Is it? No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Let's, let's back out of that. It was, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. There we are. Electronic power, power steering. Okay. We want to tap into that. That's the, that's what the yawn sensor. Okay. We'll display the data. So it's gonna show you all the sensors that are the um, the steering system uh, is commanding pretty much. Okay. So we have the steering power torque. You know, that only shows how much you know how much pressure you are applying on the steering system. Oh, okay. Okay. You have the torque sensor. Then we go to your. Uh, the, Hey, watch that um, door, Mama, because if the wind catches it, it's going to expand it. Yeah, like... Yeah. It's so it's sure. basically already cleared out. Yes. So I know we probably shouldn't press the button while it's No, pulling. you can. Oh, it turns on and off. Okay. You can. That's... So the button does work. So yeah. 
I thought it was the button, but it's obviously not because he's pressing the button. Yeah. And it's turning on and off. No, okay. that's for traction, to turn the traction control off. So what's the other lights? So there are two different lights? Yes. So there's a stability. The one that was on was stability control. Oh, okay. And then there's a ABS system. All those are in one module per se. Okay. You know? And plus the steering control module too. Oh, okay. Yeah. All are connected okay, in one module. Oh, okay. So even though this picture was on here, right. and you push this and traction control says off, right. it's still all together. All together, yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. So ABS system, the speed sensors, they are all in one module. Okay. okay. So whenever we try to command them using our scanners, we can see what... Like, let's say, for example, there was one sensor that was bad. Mm -hmm. We can always say, you know, when we are driving, we can see which one is not picking up the speed. Okay. Okay. So let's say, for example, the stability system is most of the time the rear wheels will start uh, slipping. Mm -hmm. You know, especially if let's say you there's rain, you can see that on the scanner and you tell you, hey, this side needs more power than on the other side. Okay. Yeah. So things like that. Okay. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's just a matter of uh, calibrating the system. Uh, again, there's a guy who has done it without a scanner. You don't have to have a scanner. You can go uh, on YouTube. I can't remember the guy's name. No, I've seen it. And guys, don't do that. Because <laughs> I almost did it. And I said, no, you know what? I done messed up her car so many times. Yeah. I don't want to stick a paper clip. Because what he's talking about mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. a guy sticking a paper clip to kind of jump the system. And then it turns and yeah, I think yeah. you have to press the brake eight times or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. And then it would turn off. Guys, there's a lot of videos out there with people doing it. Do not do that, especially right. if you're in a Houston area. Mm -hmm. Hit up uh, Peter. Again, I'll leave all his information because you see he's in all my videos, especially moving forward. Mm -hmm. But guys, don't do that. Find somebody with a scan tool, a good one like this, not yeah. the one that you have at um, like AutoZone oh, or cool. something like that. And then they can reset this code. Because like you said, the alignment place didn't do that mm -hmm. like they were supposed to. So. We're all set. Yeah, I'm good to go. We're all set. And how much is that? Like thirteen hundred dollars? Uh, no, it's a little more than that. Is it really? Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. Well, guess what? I'll put it in the link in the description <laughs> below. <laughs> Are you I'll put. Turn off the air pressure tire. No, no, no uh, that one has uh, its own system, and one of the sensors is is out. Oh, the one on the rear back. back. Oh, the rear back. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we, if we get a new sensor for the rear back, that'll that go off? That should go off. Oh, see, there you go, babe. Yes. Well, we want to get... I found some nice Scion TC wheels. Okay. That uh, should fit. They should fit. They so should that's fit. what I like. They're pretty cheap, too. So that's what I want okay. for a car because these things are so, so skinny tires. Right. All right, guys. So as you see, Peter came once again, fixed it. So we're all set. Uh, the light, the main light is off. So we just got to get the TPS sensor wheel light. That's easy. And then change the oil and we're all set so thank you guys or thank you peter thank you oh, you're thank you for always coming through you're appreciate welcome. that man <laughs> so uh he sent me a lexus a car but i gotta talk to wifey to see if i can get into <laughs> i know i can't but anyway so we got a lot more projects That'd that we want to nice do this one i know I wish, right i wish you'd get that one i know i know i know but uh, listen anything that we work on uh your car or something like that i know peter's super busy yeah. but we're gonna keep bringing you guys more con uh more car content and uh, real issues. So like I said, I, these videos might not be pretty like other channels out there like throttle and stuff like that, but they're informative and they're like everyday issues that everyday people have. So I gotta get back inside. Peter had us to get to another customer. So thank you, Peter. You're and welcome. you guys know my slogan, I'm hungry, my food's inside. So just be basic, peace. <laughs>